Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a short box of books um, of all ages. I think a lot of these books I might have shown before, so I'm going to try to skip over those. But let's just jump right into it. First up, we've got some early DCs. Uh, looks like a bunch of actions. Um, these I believe I've shown before, so I'm just going to quickly flip through most of them. Just some tough 1950s DCs here. All actions and 249 after that we've got some golden age books we've got well at least one uh, adventure number 125 we've got a couple more adventures here is 189 And 229, which I believe is the first Silver Age Aquaman. So a semi key book there. After that, we've got Amazing Adventures number six. Cool little pre hero marble here. After that, we have an interesting book. Uh, this is Spider Man number six. Um, just ignore this little white paper here. Rip that off. There we go. This one is interesting because it's got paint splash all over it, um, which I don't think I've ever seen before on a comic. Um, I tried to pick one or two off, but they really wouldn't budge. So it presents decently, just has, you know, thousands of tiny little paint droplets all over it. Other than that, it's a pretty nice book. Continuing on, we have a few more Spider-Mans. Here's number 43. Just got a little bit of a spine roll. A uh, little bit higher grade copy of 58 here. Cool black cover. We got a nice mid grade copy of Spidey 129. Uh, this copy would be higher grade if it weren't for that missing piece right up in the top corner. I was pretty happy to get this one. I got it, I think, earlier in the year, uh, last year, 2018. Um, paid probably 20% less than that sticker price. After that, we have a couple more Punisher Spider-Man books here. Two copies of 135. And we have the Black Suit Spider-Man, which is number 252. We have a couple more Spider-Man books, but... In the Avengers title, we have Avengers number 11. Two copies of that with Spider Man. After that, we've got several more Avengers. Let me pull them all out here. There we go. Okay, first up is this cool Thor cover, Smashing the Earth. Number 12, we have the first Ultron, uh, 54. Ooh, looks like the corner got ripped there. After that, number 56. And we have 71, Black Panther cover. Versus the Invaders, of course. And we have uh, Avengers 83, uh, first Valkyrie, although I heard somewhere recently that this isn't actually the first Valkyrie, um, so maybe it's just the first Lady Lib, Lib the, the, sorry, the Lady Liberators. We have the cool origin issue here, number 87, followed by a pretty nice copy of number 100. Seems pretty sharp. Then we have Thanos book, 125, Thanos, Thanos. And after that we have first Taskmaster, Taskmaster, 196. 
And that's it for the Avengers, I think. After that is some Bat Books. First up we have low grade copy of 79. Then low grade copy of 102. Pretty cool. Adam's cover here, 237. I think there's a two faced story in this book, I believe. After that, it's Birds of Prey, number eight. Um, forgot the significance of this book, I apologize. i uh, have to check on that later, but I know it is a key issue. Up next is Black Panther, number one, mid-grade copy. This one might need a press. It looks pretty sharp, but I think there's one or two creases that could press out. After that is a Silver Age key. It is Captain America, number 100. Sorry, this camera angle's a little bit weird on me. So I'm reaching over. Really great Jack Kirby cover there with the whole cast. Up next is a Conan, number one. Cool Bronze Age book, or Late Silver. I don't know what it falls under. Then we have the first appearance of the Teen Titans, or new Teen Titans at least. DC Comics Presents number 27. So I think it's at least the first Cyborg. Um, I'm not sure who else. Maybe Starfire, some of the other Titans. Then we have Detective number 238. And this book is from that same collection that I described a while back where the owner would put his earliest issues, he would mark them. So instead of going by like issue number or title, he would mark off the earliest issue dates. So this is his fourth oldest book, I believe is how it was explained to me when I bought it. Up next is another uh, detective key. Here's number 405, The League of Assassins. We have a high grade copy of The Eternals, number one. More Jack Kirby stuff here. After that is another bronze key, Doctor Strange, number one. Really awesome cover there. Follow that up with a low grade copy of Fantastic Four, number 18. The first Super Scroll. This book and FF number two, um, you know, both featuring the scrolls have gone Way up in value lately, um, you know, due to the Fox acquisition by D Disney. We have a couple annuals. I think I bought these in a, a lot together. Annual number one and number two is right behind it. Let me put this one away real quick. Number two with the Doctor Doom cover. This one's got some old tape residue. Kind of looks like the tape's still on there, but it's not. Next up is Fear or Adventure to Fear. Number 19, which is the first Howard the Duck. Um, what was it? Was it Guardians of the Galaxy 1 where he was like in the end credit scene? And then this book exploded in value. I think it's come down a lot since then. But if they ever use Howard the Duck again, it'll probably go up a little bit more. Uh, here is Flash number 92, which I believe is the first impulse. After that, we have Hawkman number 1. Low grade copy. We have a cool Iron Man and Hulk cover. Number nine. I think this version of the Hulk is a robot though. I believe, I'm not 100% sure though. We have a couple Journey into Mysteries, pre-hero books, Zog. This is number 56. And we have 57 as well with Orogo. Orogo. <laughs> we have some DC books. Justice League uh, 21 with the JSA crossover. 
followed by 75, which is like the new version of the Black Canary. We have a couple Marvel magazines here. Marvel Preview number two, which has the Punish featuring the Punisher here. Then we have the first Satana. Marvel Preview number seven here. Cool cover. We got a couple Marvel Spotlights with Ghost Rider. Love the blacks on this cover. And number eight. Really cool covers. We've got another uh, early Marvel here, Marvel Tales number 155. I'm not sure if this is the last issue in the Marvel Tales run or the second to last issue. We've got an interesting book, Metal Men. Uh, number, I think this is number one. Um, what are they doing, a TV show or a movie about Metal Men? I think they were just maybe featured in a TV show. I don't know. Anyways, uh, number one. So, cool book to have. Of course, this is not their first appearance. I think they first appeared in one of the Brave and the Bold or Showcase issues. But this has always been a cool cover with the things raining down there. Got some writing on the cover, of course. Or penciling. We have uh, one pre-code horror book here. It's Monster, number one. Maybe this is number two, sorry. Yeah, this is number two. Just a two issue series, I think, published by Fiction House. Look at all that's going on on this cover. That is pretty sweet. Low grade copy. Up next is uh, Miss Marvel number one. Of course, this key issue has been on fire. Looking forward to the Captain Marvel movie coming out soon. After that, we've got another early Marvel, Mystery Tales, number 37, Afraid to Look. We have a couple more Teen Titans related books. We have number two, featuring the first Deathstroke. And then number 44, should be the first Nightwing. Both pretty high grade copies. After that we have a couple ECs um, from their humor line. We have Panic, number four, and number seven. Here's a Golden Age book, Sensation, number 79. Cool early Wonder Woman. Another copy of Silver Surfer number one, which I might have shown off before. So mid-grade copy. We have Strange Tales Annual number one. Tougher book. That is another uh, Golden Age book. Superboy number four, pretty early DC here. We have a uh, random Superman number 108, low grade. I think we have a bunch of Tales to Astonish, Tales of Suspense up next. So I'll just flip through these. Some great Stan Lee stuff here. Tales of Suspense number 12. A couple copies of 22. 29. The Martian Who Stole the City. We stole a city. Here's 33. It's got an old stamp on it from Tulsa. And I bought it in Oklahoma as well. Here's Tales to Astonish. Same person. Number 26. Again, it's all cool that they came from the same collection. Number 32. And last we have number 33. And probably all these might have came from the same collection, actually. Uh, I just bought it from a Oklahoma dealer. 
So I assume he picked it up from maybe the original owner or who knows. Uh, let's see. Up next is another Teen Titans issue uh, from the Silver Age run. Not too many books left here. This is number, what, 22? I'm not sure if that's an Adams cover or not. I just really think that cover is cool. The contrast between the opposing sides. And we've got a couple of Thors here. First Absorbing Man, 114, Journey to Mystery. 166, Battling Warlock. We have some X-Men's as well. There's number five. Number seven. These all came from the same uh, dealer as well. And number eight. Low grade copy. And then we've got two more. Uh, 35 featuring Spider-Man. And lastly, we have 101 with the Phoenix. Um, interesting thing about this one, though, is that it is a UK price variant. So instead of whatever 20 cents, maybe, it's got 10p. Not sure if that's pence or something else. But anyways, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry if I had a whole bunch of repeat books. I've got a couple more boxes to go through um, in a couple more videos. So hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day.